Center for Drugs that will become the biggest in Africa here in Oba. If I didn't know that. Of if I didn't know that. We have come to witness the biggest drug distribution center in Africa. What it would mean and we have a timeline, everybody is in sync. You have heard from all the stakeholders, from the Minister of Health, from the Pharmacist Regulatory I mean, uh, Council, the regulatory bodies, NAFDAQ and so on, everybody has agreed that Oba is the only approved location for the wholesale distribution center. Anambra State Government has also signed on this that the only place after 24 months, after 24 months, Ogogo will not just only be closed, we'll bulldoze it down. We'll never be placed. There will no longer be Ogogo. We have already, we have a plan of what we are going to put there. The pharmaceutical places, open draw places in Anambra, be there at Dose, be there at the main market, be there anywhere else, everybody is relocating for that. I am glad Sterling Bank is funding this and they have given us a commitment in the open here publicly that they will fund the entire system from beginning. We have also seen the uh, construction company. The developers, they have also spoken to us and assurances that this will be delivered in 24 months. No if and but, this should be delivered in 24 months. Not just to build a livable and prosperous home, but the mainland that will be driven a smart mega city, driven by technology. And we want to believe that in this ecosystem, technology will drive action. A whole lot of things in the past about our back seem to have been jinxed. The Oba International Airport was jinxed. Oba International Market was jinxed. Now the pharmaceutical hub that ought to be the biggest in Africa was jinxed. But today, the third month of my coming into office, the jinx is broken. We are looking for about 100, 150 hectares to build the pharmaceutical manufacturing hub so that together with the distribution hub, you will form an ecosystem for Africa. We will get it. We are already looking at some other places. We need land for a residential, for a modern residential estate. Because with the kind of thing coming here, you are going to be having over 10,000 people and then the international market across the other side, you're talking about a new city as it were, where we'll have the most modern technology-driven amenities that will become the new city in Oba. Today is our third month in office. And today, we've come to lay this groundbreaking ceremony. The security of life and property Law and order is the first business of government. And I'm sure you are beginning to notice that something is changing. Are you noticing that something is changing? Yes. We will follow them everywhere and anywhere they are. 
No forest in Anambra, no home in Anambra will be safe to criminals. Not in Anambra. You know, but we were here, I think, last week or so. We saw a place where we rescued some people kidnapped, three persons kidnapped and held here in Oba, including the Reverend Father. We not only rescued them, but we brought down that building. And we are keeping a watch on that neighborhood because we could see a few things that shouldn't be found anywhere. And we are asking on the Anambra, if you see something, say something. If you see something, say something. And we will take them out. That is, the light and darkness cannot coexist.